Do you have a job that requires you to do the same thing day in and day out, which can often cause injuries? Well, if you do, you're going to want to pay attention to what we have to say today. We're here at the Ryan E. Murphy Law Firm with Ryan. Thanks so much for having us today. Thank you. So when you know, I'm thinking about um, maybe the uh, grocery store clerk that uh, is uh, having to shelf things or uh, maybe someone that uh, is constantly having to uh, bend with their knees. I'm sure that that can cause some injuries and something called an occupational hazard. Is that something that you see a lot in your profession? Yeah, we do. Uh, people that have to do repetitive jobs no matter you know, what the job may be we see people who are picking stuff for online orders anything that is repetitive in nature can slowly cause uh, an injury uh, mm -hmm. from those motions that are just repeated day in and day out over and over again and a lot of people don't know that just because they didn't have a specific accident that that repetitive exposure can actually be a compensable work comp claim and they can get treatment and benefits for that wow and i'm sure that there's a lot of people that are perking up even just hearing that and so um ryan talk about the process of this because uh, if there is someone that's watching with maybe an injury that um, that they didn't really see any hope for how what is the process they can take to be able to potentially get some of those benefits that you're talking about? Well, one of the things that I like to do is meet with people. And what they can do is call my office. They can set up an appointment and they can meet with me for free. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then when they're here, they can share any questions that they have and I can answer those questions for them and I can tell them whether they have a claim that can be pursued mm -hmm. or whether they don't have a claim. We'll, we'll sit down, we'll listen to the facts, you know, what's happened to them specifically mm -hmm. for free and then if there's a, a legal remedy that we can provide the person, we will in fact represent them for free until we get them benefits at the conclusion of the claim. Oh, that's great. That's great. So there's really no money out of pocket initially. There's absolutely no money out of pocket initially. That's correct. And Ryan, uh, what about the people that are thinking, you know, I have had this wrist problem for uh, quite some time, maybe even up to 20 years. Is there a time limit on this that we have to uh, approach our employer? Because of these occupational exposure, you know, there's no specific date when symptoms, you know, they tend to come on very gradually. And so the law understands because there's no specific date, like an accident date or anything like that, that the symptoms come on gradually. The the law allows a claim to be brought or notice needs to be provided to the employer after a doctor, a medical provider says, these symptoms were caused by your work. Mm. And oftentimes that doesn't happen until quite a while into the symptoms being present. So even though the symptoms have been there a while, uh, you can still bring a claim. You're not barred from bringing a claim until a doctor, until a significant time after a doctor says those symptoms were caused by your work activities. No, that's great news, Ryan. And folks, you really do not have to suffer in pain, especially due to your job. And so uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to schedule an appointment with Ryan, we're going to put some contact information on your screen so you can get in touch with the Ryan E. Murphy Law Firm. Ryan, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you for being here.